Hi, my name is Jared, and this is Horror Obsession, bringing you recommendation number 17 for the third Saturday of the month. We are officially two weeks away from Halloween, and while some stupid virus thing has ruined going out this year, last I checked you are still allowed to get drunk and watch horror movies at home. So pick your poison and join me for another fantastic, lesser-known monster movie that is a ton of fun. Today's recommendation is... Feast 2005, directed by John Gulliger. This is one of the first movies I typically recommend to people who are into horror but maybe not quite as obsessed as I am, since this movie plays off all the typical horror movie tropes while at the same time telling the story extremely well. Let's go through the setup and then dive into more detail about what I love about this movie. Alright, so the movie starts off by introducing each character with their own title card, including their name, occupation, and their chances of surviving the movie. Movie. Feast is not afraid to break the fourth wall in this way, and is very self-aware of what audience expectations are for each character, including gems such as, they wouldn't kill a cripple, right? Well, they absolutely do in both Friday the 13th Part 2 and in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so I guess I watch too many horror movies. Anyway, Jason Mewes, aka Jay from Jay and Silent Bob is here, and they start playing pool. Frank from 30 Rock is in this, playing the beer guy. There is a waitress, who is a single mom with her kid, who is fucking the owner, a military guy, and Honey Pie, a beautiful waitress slash aspiring model. Bozo wins the pool game when Hero comes crashing in, where he has one of my favorite movie starting guns of all time. Listen to me. A storm of hell is coming down on this place any second. I don't know what they are. I don't know where they came from. All I do know is that these fuckers are fast, nasty, and hungry. And there's four of them. They got claws like Ginsu knives and more teeth than a chainsaw. They're coming. Right now. So we gotta lock this bar down. That means doors, windows, drains, and zippers, and we gotta do it fast. Alright, and that's the setup for Feast. This movie does a great job of setting up interesting characters who all fit into a well-recognized horror stereotype, but since Gulliger is so aware of the expectations, obviously everything doesn't go quite as expected. The characters sometimes will be going through a dramatic arc when it's abruptly cut short by a burst of extreme violence, the suddenness and timing of which comes off as comedic. It is clearly intentional, however, and definitely adds to the fun of the movie. I also love movies where characters are in an isolated location and fending off some unknown threat that they have to learn about and then fight, and this is another great example of that timeless premise executed to perfection. Overall, Feast is a really enjoyable movie which will have you simultaneously locked to the screen and also sometimes disgusted by the gore and uh, other stuff that happens to the characters. Alright, and that wraps up recommendation number 17 for Horror October, and check back in tomorrow for a movie about grief, isolation, and the terrifying secrets hiding in the woods.